something to ponder on. Because Lil Uzi dropped some tips for making great music. Uh-oh. Wait, wait. Not great music, great albums. So do you want to know how to make a great album? I do. Corey, I, I you, f- you feel like you know the keys to a great album? I feel like I'm like 60% of the way there. You, you 60% of the yeah, way like there? 60%. All right. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing the project, bro. <laughs> All right. So check out this clip right here. Lil Uzi talking to Aiden. I don't know why Drake albums are great albums. Why? Because it sounds like one long song. You know why Kanye albums are great albums? Why? Because it sounds like one long song. You know why this heat album is a good album? Sorry, Drake. Why? Because it sounds like one long song. <laughs> okay, I get it. I know. One long song. Song. Drake albums are great albums because they sound like one long song. Yeezy albums or Yay albums are great albums. One long song and this Yee album is great because it sounds like one long song. Corey, we both disagree. Yeah, I disagree. In, in many ways. But you know, hey, Uzi, you the artist. You done done what you done done. So we're going to respect it. But from a fan standpoint, we also have our perception of what's great as well. I'm gonna start with, look, bro. <laughs> I've turned out a, a lot of shit that's just boring because it sounded like one long song, right? That's my my starter, yeah. right? Literally one long song. You didn't do anything interesting. It's like, oh yeah, you should have just stopped with the first one. And sometimes I could take a repeat, but the rest of them aren't as good as that first one because sometimes that one sound has like a hit. It's like, oh yeah, that song is a hit, but all your copies of that song. Just sound like you're copying your own shit. You know how other people mm. copy people's shit and yeah. it's not as good? Yeah. It sounds like you're copying your own stuff and it's not as good. Yeah, like a right? watered down version of yourself. A watered down version of yourself is like the ones that you had to make to create that one and maybe a couple ones after that moment, right? Before you went to sleep or something. So it's th- that's what I feel sometimes as a fan. And then on the other hand, back to that one long song, that can't be the only reason. Because what if the song isn't good? I've heard that same instance with songs that just ain't that good. So if it's a mid song. And it's long. And it's long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asleep. I'm asleep. But you characterize great albums in a way that I like. Yeah. I, so I, I get the sentiment Uzi's trying to make. What I disagree is. I don't think a great album is, you know, like I said, every song blends together and sounds like one long song. I think it's kind of like seeing different characters from the same universe, rather, right? Like I prefer every song on the album to um, sound like it's all coming from the same world. So they're unique in their individual attributes, but they make sense and sound like they're being birthed from the same umbrella. I think mm-hmm. that's what makes a great song because then at that point, to your to your point, you can start to see where the sound maybe inspired the rest of the music, but it doesn't sound like it's blatantly copying itself, mm-hmm. right? Like that, that, that's almost one like, have you ever listened to a song from an artist and you could tell that that song was probably inspired by like a different song they made? Like you, it's like you almost could hear them in the same studio session being like, yep. nah, nah, that drum loop saved it for this shit, right? But you, you can see how it came from it. Like shit like that, I think is what makes a great, um, a great album because you kind of get to see the artist's thought process a little bit. Um, behind this stuff and it 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 lets you know that they are aware of cohesiveness yeah which is something that i do think is a lost art form um in yes, music when it comes bro. to putting please. putting projects together cohesiveness. please man <laughs> I, the, I those are the projects i love the most yeah right that have that let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up or if you're a manager a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up i have something that's a game changer for you and it's completely free as you may know we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams we've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams chart on billboard go viral all of that stuff and we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free step by step in brandman network all you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com you apply it's completely free but the thing is We're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. So your example of being in the same world, different characters, scenes within that same world, 
one hundred percent makes sense, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like you look at Metro Boomin's project that he just dropped a month or so ago, right? It's all the super villain. It's a movie scene essentially. It feels like that, right? The be- the beginning, the origin story, right? Then you get the build up to the climax, and then it goes down and, and hits the resolution. That's all there. Mm-hmm. Now, some of these albums, which I think maybe is his bigger point. Just feel like playlist. I see where you're coming from. Like that's probably <laughs> where his bigger point is, yeah. low key. It's like, all right, these songs might have been made in different eras, and a lot of times, sometimes with the record label, like the way things move, they're like, hey, put something together. So you might take a song that you made two, three years ago, and yeah. another song that you made yesterday, and not, oh, I took it two, three years ago, so because I was saving it, and it's perfect with this project. It's like I just put some stuff together. And we had to put some out, right? Yeah. Or we had to keep this song on the project because this helped the numbers look good, yeah. right? And that's that's a whole other thing. But the sense of being in the same world has that value, just because this idea of a mood, right? Like, unless you're going to take me into a space to change my emotion. Typically, you do want to stay in similar emotional space when you listen to a full project. Yeah. And that kind of goes back to one long song, but not exactly, right? So if you look, listen to, uh, what what album was that? that you, I don't know I thought, why I, I thought of Trey songs. Yeah, I said like, The Weeknd's most recent album. The like Weeknd's yeah. most uh, recent album, which he's been in the same universe for a long time. Hey, man. He, right? You know his bubble, man. That's, <laughs> <laughs> same universe, but he just... <laughs> does different representations. He went from like the low life to the high life within the same universe. Yeah, it's, right? it's like in those movies when they go to a different part of the world and like the globe just turns and it zooms in on the spot. It's like, yeah, same shit. Exactly. Exactly. Part. Exactly. <laughs> so there's that. What I was thinking actually was um, for some reason I was thinking about the Trey Songs album, the one that his best album to me, I never know the name of the project, but the one that got Penny Dropper. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, unfortunately, Ella, Smiley Face, um, which so, is a clear example. Like people listen to like why the hell was LOL smiley face on that project, right? Yeah. Shouldn't have been there. Broke the I whole about song. Damn. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> the rest of the project was basically like a, you know, love, sex, R and B track. Yeah. Like that's what it was. And you could play it all the way through and then you all of a sudden you got this childish song. Like that song was cool for what it is. It's one of them things like don't make me be mean about this bro like i'm cool with it just put it over there right <laughs> like so imagine what do people like to do r&b projects they might really be in that mood right like you might actually be playing it while you're while you're doing that thing or you might just be in the date or whatever and then that comes on right <laughs> that doesn't allow for that like that's when that one long song or Staying in the same universe matters, right? Yeah. And then, of course, you got some people that, um, you know, there's different moods. But I think the most obvious mood and clear mood to depict that with is, hey, bro, I'm up here trying to smash or mid-smash, and then all of a sudden you hit me with some LOL smiley face. <laughs> you know what I mean? That doesn't make sense for you to have thrown that shit in here after you yeah. have panty droppers and this goes out, and see, you know, whatever. I might even go through the full track. But <laughs> I, I kind of remember most of that track list in order. So- one long song. I I think I see what he's trying to say, but you know, you already heard my disagreements with it. Yeah, bro. Now I just keep turning back to the the movie reference, bro. It's like imagine a Marvel movie with like eight Iron Mans in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's gonna be some hits in there. Shit, gonna it's gonna be smashing. Yeah. After a while, you're like, damn, bro. I'm kind of I'm kind of sick of Iron Man. Yeah. Man, I want somebody else to say today. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I want some Thor, bro. I want I want a uh, you know some Hulk, bro. Somebody, man. See somebody a different move. Yeah, like I want yeah. a different origin story, bro. So I look at it like that same that same way, bro. If it all sounds like the same song. Even if it sounds like a great song, I think eventually we just are going to get tired of it. Mm -hmm. You know, our attention spans ain't long enough for that. (laughs) But, you know, they all sound like great individual songs from the same universe, the same world. They all cohesively go together. They make a very nice Avengers. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. (laughs) But perfect example is someone just told me not to watch The Matrix, the last one that came out. And I didn't feel like I was going to watch it anyway because they got rid of Morpheus. Well, Mm -hmm. they didn't get rid of them. They still had them in there, but it was, wasn't was Lawrence Fishburne. And yeah. Lawrence Fishburne still alive. So I was like, it's some bad decisions already being made. <laughs> but they were like, bro, it was the exact same movie. Mm. 
and that just disappointed me. Like, don't go, don't go watch that shit. It was like it was still the at the end the it was the uh, I forgot the this Mr. Smith or whatever whatever. It was still those people controlling stuff and Neo and Trinity were still the saviors in the exact same way. It's like why y'all wait all these years and then y'all bring it back and just told the same story, right? Yeah. So nah. Oh, and of course, a lesser version of the original too. Again, so it's everything that we just said. And so I like that you went to movies because I think it more clearly depicts yeah, <laughs> everything about why this ain't exactly ain't exactly right. Yeah, exactly. But like I said, we don't want eight Iron Mans, man. Hey, but Uzi, if you ever make a project that sounds like one long song and it's not good, you know, we know where you were coming from. We were like, oh, he was going for that or whatever. Yeah. But like Uzi hasn't even done that. I was just about to say that, bro. That's why <laughs> it, it felt like cap for him. I'm like, bro, you don't even do that, bro. Like, yeah. like his album sound like individual themes from the same universe, yeah. bro. Like they're all in, in, in Uzi land. Yeah. But it's not it's not fucking uh <laughs> I wanna rock fifteen times in a row. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, that's yeah. that that'd go. I don't know, man. I think he's just trying to be on his I think he's trying to rebrand his wise and that was his start. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I don't know. No, nah, I, I look again. I I think I know where he's coming from though with it. Uh, obviously, he's made great music, and maybe it's funny enough. Sometimes the wrong thing could get you to the right place though. So That's maybe true. he has to think that yeah. to create that output, and it's to us, it doesn't really come from that space, but it still has an output that we appreciate. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Like yeah. he not he not viewing it through the same lens that we yeah. viewing it through. He's like, to me, this shit sound the same because of whatever. whatever. It's like, no, right. no, 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 don't. It's like when <laughs> you be on the same page, you think you're on the same page with somebody, and then y'all finish each other's sentence, and you realize, whoa, hold up, he went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you went left, bro. <laughs> not the same thing. That's that's probably what that is. But hey, you know. It's kind of the opposite. He started with the fork, and I think it came together. We looking at his projects. So, look, one long song, y'all see it. I would love to know what y'all think about that one. Actually, mm-hmm. that would be really interesting. But for the last 